my name is Gina Marie, and I'm an art instructor here at the Fresno Art Museum. I'm gonna be your tour guide. Let's head inside. So before we head in to see a special exhibition that was created just for you, we're gonna go take a look at a queen within adorned archetypes. Let's go on in.
So here we are in front of Light for All. This is a special exhibition that was created just for you. Inside, we're going to see the artwork by Raul Colon. He's a very special and talented illustrator. He's worked on over 30 children's books and received lots of awards for his work. The author is Margarita Engel, and she lives and works right here in Fresno. So we here at the museum are super excited to have their work shown here. All right, let's head inside. So in this glass case, we have an actual copy of the book Light for All. So that's the cover that you would see at your local library or bookstore. Right next to it, we have a replica of the Statue of Liberty. This is a very special monument that millions of immigrants get to see when they come into the country. The Statue of Liberty lives on Liberty Island, right near New York City. Let's look at the first piece of artwork. So Raul Colon was born in New York City. Then he moved to Puerto Rico and Florida, and now he's back near New York City. So Raul knows firsthand about how hard it is to move to a new place and how much um, the places you live change who you are. So this piece is about showing how immigrants first came to our country. So they would come in these ships. How does this piece look like it's from a long, long time ago? Maybe notice the style of the children's hair, or maybe their style of clothing. What about the color choices and the color palette let you know this is from a long time ago? When I look at this, this reminds me of when I look at my grandparents' photos. They were in black and white. So this is kind of a monotone palette where all of the colors kind of look the same. All right, let's move forward in the story. We're going to look at the pictures in chronological order. So that means from beginning to end. Okay, follow me. So here we have the first piece. It's called Light of a Mighty Lamp. So what do we notice in this piece? When I look at this piece, I see ships moving in a large body of water. I also notice that the sun is setting or maybe rising. I see a body of land towards the top left part. And then I also see the Statue of Liberty holding up her torch and lighting the way. So maybe she's acting like a lighthouse. I also notice the artist technique. If you get a really close look, you can see how the artist worked. So, when Raul first gets a piece of paper, he puts down a very light wash of watercolor, so it kind of makes the whole paper golden. Then he lets that dry out, and he starts sketching out his ideas. So it's like a blueprint or a plan for his work. Then he starts using a little scratching tool to create lots of little lines. So maybe you can see wavy lines, vertical lines. You can see that all inside of his work. The last part he does is add color. So he uses um, colored pencils and crayons to bring this piece to life. So you have those materials at home. You might be able to make an artwork just like this. Okay, let's move on to the next piece. So right here, we have this piece called Joyful Family Reunion. This piece is showing how it used to be when immigrants would take ships and come all the way across the ocean to the United States. So in this piece, what are we noticing? I notice people, happy faces, excited expressions, and those ships that maybe we saw in the first piece. Maybe those ships were bringing these people over. The artist uses really soft, cozy colors and warm colors to show that this is a happy piece. You can also see lots of open palms and embraces. So this is a really happy, happy image. Let's move on to the next piece. So this piece also shows immigrants, but it's kind of maybe a scary or even sad piece. We also notice a lot of movement you can also notice the different expressions on the people's faces. Hopefully you kind of notice there's diagonal lines 
When artists use diagonal lines, they're trying to show action and movement. So all of the immigrants are moving a certain way. And they look like they're fleeing something dangerous or scary in the background. So maybe um, these immigrants were fleeing from war or something maybe scary. There's fires, there's jagged lines that shows um, lots of different movement going on. Maybe you can think about how is this piece different than the other piece that we saw with immigrants coming to this country. Okay, let's move on to the next piece. So here we have survivors arrive. Again, we have lots of different diagonal lines going on, so there's lots of different action and events happening. In the foreground, so in the front of the piece, the first thing you notice maybe is this mother and her son. What do you notice is in their hands? Looks to me like they're holding maybe an empty cup and a bowl. Maybe that's showing they're hungry or thirsty. On the right side, we can see another friend and she looks like she's holding her hand to her face. So to me, that shows maybe she's worried. Even the doll in her hand looks like it's kind of limp or sad. So sometimes immigrants come here because of war, they're fleeing war or natural disasters. Um, so the artist is showing all of these different things, that people have different stories that bring them here to the United States. Maybe those looming clouds also show, maybe they're going to leave something that's scary and moving on to something much more hopeful. So let's look at, again at our friend, the Statue of Liberty. So in this piece, Raul Colon is doing a great job using warm colors. Maybe you've seen in our other videos that artists use warm colors sometimes and cool colors. This is a great mixture of both of them. The light coming from the torch is using yellow and orange, and those are great warm colors. And then the clouds and the sky and the Statue of Liberty herself is showing us nice cool tones. Also notice that there's circles of light coming from her torch. When artists use circles, they're showing unity. Maybe they're also showing eternity or forever. So when artists use circles, they're trying to show maybe the cycle of life and infinity, just like how immigrants will always be coming into this country. Okay, let's move on to this next piece. So in this piece, Margarita Engel writes, that immigrants come to this country to become doctors, to become artists and singers, scientists and athletes. So how is this piece showing how our friends that come to this country, how, are the, how is it showing that they can do that? I like to notice that in the top right, there's someone climbing like some kind of structure or kind of looks like rock climbing to me. Maybe that's showing how people can get better opportunities here and climb upward. So maybe think about how your family came to this country or how you know someone else that came to this country and changed their lives. Okay, in this next piece, we're looking at farming and how people from all over the world come to help um, grow food for the whole world. Just like here in the Central Valley, we create lots of jobs and opportunities for people from other countries. Does this remind you of living here in the Central Valley? All right, let's look at our next piece. This piece is called The Need for Equality. So it's showing the Statue of Liberty again, and she looks like she's shining a light on some of our friends. And a good thing about this piece is that it shows symmetry. So symmetry is when something has balance. So like when you're using a scale and you can add and subtract things, this is the same thing. If you draw an imaginary vertical line going through the middle of this piece, you have an exact balance and it's very symmetrical. So it's even on both sides. I think that really matches this piece called the need for equality. Okay, let's head on over to this side. So over here, 
This piece is called Freedom to Speak, Read, and Write. So take a moment to look at this piece and see how maybe the student is doing that. So in this piece, it looks like she's reading books. She may be writing a letter or an essay. So those are the, our freedoms to read whatever we want and to write whatever we want. And then if you notice on her bed, she has a cell phone. So she's able to use that to speak however she wants to, to call her friends or family or however she wants to talk to. And she has the freedom to do so. All right. Let's move over here. And again, we have all of our friends. This is a great image. They're reading together, they're learning and studying. At the very top, there's someone giving a speech or saying something important. So this is about our freedom of speech too, and our freedom to read and write as we please. I think it's important to note too, that all the students are on stairs. So maybe they're going upwards or ascending and maybe they're learning more as they get to know each other. All right, let's look at this piece. I like this piece a lot because it kind of reminds me of looking through a kaleidoscope, if you've ever done that. So you're basically looking through a kaleidoscope and you're getting to see all these different colors. And every color works together harmoniously or together. There's no one fighting for more attention. So this piece is about how immigrants have a language that they speak in their homeland and then they bring it here and then they also learn a new language here. And it shows how multifaceted they are. So they have different facets, different faces. So that's what this piece is about. Okay, now we'll move over here. And there's two different pieces and it shows about the immigrants' homelands. So all of our friends where they originally came from. So you'll see images of Mayan or Aztec ruins from Mexico, the Taj Mahal in India. And over here in this piece, we have the Great Wall of China and an African savanna. So maybe these places feel familiar to you I know they do to me. I'm, my ancestors are from Mexico. So when I look at this piece, I think about going to see the ancient ruins in Tulum or Chichen Itza. If you don't know about these places, that's a great thing to ask your teacher. Speaking of teachers, let's look at one of the last pieces. So in this piece, we have a teacher in a classroom which is where you might be right now. It talks about how teachers are tasked with giving us information and telling us about the history of the United States, all the great things we've done and some of the not so great things we've done. But this is a really important thing that teachers do for us. So thank you so much to all our teachers out there. All right, let's look at these last two pieces. So in these last two pieces, the light has escaped from the torch of the Statue of Liberty. She still looks like a great example and a shining light for all of our friends that come to this country. But now that light has escaped and it's making all of these wavy, curly lines. When you look over at this piece, it looks to me kind of like maybe lassos or ties that bind us all together. So, we want to thank Raul Colon and Margarita Engel for giving us a light for all. And now you're going to go do an art piece with Miss Katie in the back. Thank you so much. <laughs>